Hello everybody, this is Cap of Codeclism, and I would like to welcome you to the 16th video in my Beginner C++ tutorial series. So in this video, we are going to continue on the topic of encapsulation. So, this is probably going to be a fairly long video. So if I were you guys, I would get some caffeine and uh, come back and we can get started on this. So... Let's say we work for a software company. So the owner of a used car sales place comes in and says, all right, I want you guys to make me some software for my company and that buys and sells used cars. But he says his company does not accept any cars that have over 500,000 miles. And he would like that to be implemented in the program. So that if one of his employees tries to enter that, they can't do it. So we come up with this class. Or you make this class. And then somewhere else in the code, you or a colleague of yours. Says something like, uh, enter the miles. And then we just say, oh, whoops, have an integer here called miles, cn, miles, and then we have it to where it creates our car, whoops, uh, yeah, sure, why not, let's make it a 2003 this time, say so Ford, Mustang and Miles. And so we can assume that <clears throat> these would be coming from a, another question like this somewhere else in the program. Because, you know, realistically, they wouldn't all be Ford Mustangs. But, anyways. say if mustang dot miles is greater than 500 oh, thousand then we want it to print out no cars with over 500,000 <clears throat> miles will be accepted. And else all good to go. All right, <clears throat> so let's run this, save it, run it, enter the miles, we'll say 30,000, it's a fairly new car, <clears throat> they bought it and they didn't like it apparently, so we're all good to go, the miles were under 500,000, let's run it again, except this time let's say 600,000. No cars with over 500,000 miles will be accepted. Okay. So that's good. So we go out with our buddies to celebrate, have a few drinks, and then, you know, kind of forget about it. So let's say a year or so down the line, our used car sales company client decides they want to get into boats buying and selling used boats. So, <clears throat> the owner tells his right-hand man, go to the soft, or alter the software, or have the software altered, to accept boats. 
So the right hand man, thinking of budget, doesn't really want to bring it back to our software company and pay us to make, to extend the software to accept boats. So he goes to their IT guy, Billy Joe Bob, and says, all right, Billy Joe Bob, make, extend this software to accept boats. So Billy Joe Bob goes, all right, I'll do that. So somewhere else in our program, away from there, and I've cop I'll copy and paste some code to make this go a little bit quicker. Or faster, however you want to say it. So somewhere in the code, Billy Joe Bob writes something like this. He makes a whole other form for boats. I don't even know if they go by miles for boats, but we'll just say they do. And you'll notice that Billy Joe Bob may not, he may not know about the 500,000 mile thing or uh, he assumes that you took care of it. One, one or the two of those. And also down here you can see he just, he has a thing to where you can edit it. It can be edited and he directly accesses it. So even if he did remember up here that when they enter it at uh, anything over 500,000 miles to not accept it, down here, you know, if they made a mistake when they were logging the car or something like that, and for some reason they put in the wrong mileage and it happens to be over 500,000 miles, they still won't be aware of it and it'll go right through. So, this is a problem. Because now, a few months are going to pass, and no one's really going to notice. And then one day, our client for the used car, the owner of the used car's lot, comes barging through the door, yelling and screaming, and all that stuff, making a really big scene saying about how he's going to sue you because he's just bought 80 cars that have over 500,000 miles on them and he can't get anybody to buy them. So then your boss comes in and tells you that basically, you know, he's going to sue us. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Even if he doesn't succeed, you still have to go through court, which costs a lot of money. And we can't have mistakes like this, so you're fired. Well, that's not good, and we don't want that to happen. So, how do we prevent it? Well, we make our class more encapsulated. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, in order to prevent people from... Billy Joe Bob from making you lose your job... We will take these up here and paste them. So they cannot directly access your attributes from the code. And also, we still have to have a way for them to access them. So we make some getters and setters that get and set the code. And in our getters and setters, like for set miles here, now we check for it inside of our class. So, <clears throat> if they want to get to this attribute after they've already made the class, they have to go through this method, which automatically checks it. So, <clears throat> Billy Bob tries, makes it, and completely oblivious to all the requirements, and 500, oh, let's do, you know, our 600,000.
and that still works. That's an issue. So why does that work? Well, look up here. This is why. Even though after they create our or after we create our getters and setters, they still can directly access our attributes through the constructor. And we don't want that. So what we're going to do is reroute this through our setters. So we're going to say set year year in set make make in set model oh, oh must have forgot to make a model set model no big deal Not liking that for some reason. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, I put in int here, so it was trying to pass in. It was telling me I couldn't pass it in because it was a string, and this only accepts an int. So, be cautious of that. Like I said, it's a little stuff, guys. A little stuff to get you. Set. Uh, well, it's, oh, yep, Miles. Most important one here. Alrighty. So, now, our class is encapsulated. Or could be considered encapsulated. There's only one way to get our attributes and one way to set our attributes, and we control both within our class. So it, <clears throat> the only way anyone can get or set any attributes is to go through our class methods. So <clears throat> now... Even if Billy Joe Bob does extend this and someone puts in 600,000, the car has too many miles. And also, as for this, it won't work because it can't be accessed. Does it, uh, you know, you can't access the miles through the dot operator because it's private. Or directly through the access operator because it's private. So now <clears throat> we've probably just given Billy Joe Bob a nice promotion from the right hand man and we get to keep our jobs. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Uh, if you liked it, please like and, you know, hit the like button to let me know. And if you've watched a few of my videos and you like them, uh, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date on when we post them. And I will see you guys in the next video.